is this guy for real? I don't think people realize that I'm willing to do well, we don't I, I, I would say that I said that, that clean so all on record in front of the website that has my blog. Like so this is nothing new that I want. I'm giving the people what I see that the people want. This is Charles Hamilton, and I have been stung by the Ruby Hornet. Charles now. Hamilton, binge volume three. I'm more personal than ever, though I don't have charleshamilton.blogspot.com. I do have a new website, and even though that new website isn't updated by me personally, and same thing with the Twitter, I go through neighborhoods as if with no security, taking public transportation, knowing full and well people know who I am. The sense of comfort that I get is, is this guy for real? You know, people used to ask me all the time, how come we don't see you at parties and stuff? And the reason why I don't go to parties is because that's not really interaction, that's letting people know, like, I'm on an echelon that you need money and success to be on. As an artist, especially when music is my therapy and people find a safe haven in my music, I don't want people to think I'm so detached from them that they'll never understand where I'm at. I don't think people understand what I'm willing to leave, how much I'm quick to leave it. Like, I, I think when the story of the Pink Lava Lamp always tells people, you know, to go out and be something and be your own, but I think the self-sacrifice part of it kind of gets missed. Being told to leave a label or being told that you have to go make it on your own I don't think people realize that I'm willing to do 2007 again clean in front of everybody like that this is nothing new to me without struggle there's no progress if I have to hit rock bottom again and get more scrapes while the entire universe is looking at me I'll do it again with a smile Everybody is like, why, why did you say what you said about Soldier Boy? And I know where I was coming from and I know what was going on on the air. I think the smartest thing for me to have done is listen to his music instead of think about the marketing plan behind it. The way I made amends was just backing away from everything and just like, look, I, I said this, I said that, it's all on record, there's a website that has my blog, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there, now I'm gonna leave everybody alone, so, um, peace. Very key thing for me is self-esteem. A magazine made fun of me one day because I said I went a few days without a shower before I met Pharrell. But I was like, okay, that's not really something you want to make fun of because there's a lot of people that probably read your magazine that didn't take a shower. So, as opposed to giving the people what I want, now I'm giving the people what I see that the people want. I have a lot to say and I will find the right format to say it on. And when I find the right format, people are gonna be like, Charles Hamilton is definitely back. I shouldn't shit. You have them niggas full of shit. That's one of my temples, y'all are good at it. Sacrificing my vices, all the wood and brick. I'm pushing dope.